If you want one video on how to find all of Jaeger's fighting raid quest items, then you come to the right place. Let's get into it. So the first item we have on our list is the green Iskra lunch boxes. Now, these are actually incredibly easy to find. There's actually a spawn on interchange, which I will show you right now, that always spawns them without fail. So as you can see, we're outside of Ollie. There's a furniture store there. There's the Tex Ho and Tex Light is just up there. Just to give you guys a good starting point, but because these this one can be a little tricky to find, but we're gonna run past the furniture store with the furniture store on our left down this hallway. Okay. We're gonna open these double doors. Now, under these stairs on our right, another set of double doors. And under these stairs is a black weapon crate. Now these crates, for whatever reason, there's three of them. Two of them always spawn, in my experience, I don't know the exact signs of it, but two of them always spawn these green lunch boxes. So let's go ahead and give this one a look. There's one right there. Without fail, every time. And then of course you can uh, loot the rest of the weapon attachments, but the next two weapon crates are just up the staircase from the black weapons crate we just looted. Let's go all the way up the stairs here through this set of double doors. We're gonna run down the main hallway and to our right is a weapon box there and a weapon box there. So let's give these a loot. Hey, okay, no luck on that one. I believe it's this one that has the Iskra, usually. We might see another one. There it is again. And an Exfil helmet, which I love. It's actually my favorite helmet in the game. But anyways, that's how you can easily find the Iskra lunchboxes. Do that a couple times, maybe get unlucky or you die the first time, you'll have these lunchboxes no problem. Okay, so the next item on our list would be the Emilia croutons and the larger cans of Tushanka. So as you can see, we're in Goshan here. There's the front of the store. Here's the Bizarro store as well. And if you guys seen some of my guides before, you might be familiar with this area because I've been here quite a few times. But we're going to check the food that spawns in these aisles on the back left side of Goshan. Looking towards the back, this being the front. So, along all of these shelves here, just past these ones, are going to be loads of food loads of food so looting all of these actually there's a Tushanka right there there's one of them you need for the quest I think it's just two looting all of these shelves will get you the Emilias and these large cans of beef stew in no time so I'll quiet down now I'll show you the run So as you can see guys, we have the larger cans of Tushanka right there and we got one Emilia. Run this a couple times on your Scaver PMC, you'll get past that quest in no time. So when it comes to USBs, this is when it can get a little bit tricky. The USBs are probably the hardest find and raid quest item to find for Jaeger. And that's just because there's not a lot of reliable spawns. And when I say reliable, I just mean like for example, we can't just go to this crate that has a good chance of spawning USBs. But there's still very good ways to get them. And let's talk about it. So currently right now, while I'm on interchange still, as you can see, man, look at the lighting. Anyway, sorry, distractions. We're just in front of the national building, which is right in the front of the mall on interchange in the direct center entrance way. So there's the entrance way there, right up the stairs, the escalators up, and we have the national. And that's because USBs have a great chance at spawning in these cabinets, these filing cabinets. So if we walk into the national here, and we run around this desk behind the purple chair, we have three filing cabinets. Each drawer you can loot, and each drawer has a chance of finding 
the USB stick. So you have three in here, and you have one back here. So you have 16 chances to get your USB stick in this store. If you don't get it here, no problem. Another great place you can get it is the stashes on Interchange. Now, I do have a stash guide that I just posted that shows you all the locations of the stashes on Interchange. But these stashes are a safe, relatively safe, because you're not entering the mall, an effective way at grabbing the USB sticks. But another location I just want to show you that is not a stash, but spawns USB sticks. And I have gotten very lucky. I don't know if it's just my luck in general or what it is, but there is a purple backpack or sorry a purple luggage crate that spawns high value spawns or high value items and i've gotten many usb sticks in this bag so i'm going to show you this one real quick which is actually also shown in the stash guide so actually there's a stash right there speaking of right but if you run straight out the front of the mall, as you can see, we just came from the front, which is there. We ran to the left along this highway, along this back highway here. Close to the massive idea sign. Sorry, it's this way. I'm losing my footing. There's this purple luggage that can spawn high valuables. Including USBs. So let me, let, let's even give it a search. Just see how, how lucky we get in this video. If we can grab a USB stick. Yeah, so nothing, nothing in there this time, of course. But this purple luggage bag, USBs. So you can always look for them there. Another good place you can find filing cabinets, and actually the best place you can find filing cabinets, I think, is Reserve. Where we are right now is in between the two night buildings. So you can see there's the dome up there for reference. Two night buildings here. I'm in the central courtyard. And we have the train station down that way. So the first building we're going to loot. I actually don't know which night building this is. Like what color this one is. So this is white knight. Okay. So the first one we're going to loot is white knight. We're going to want to come in. Let's see here. I think there's a few in these side doors, right? Yep. Yeah, so there's two right here. Two filing cabinets right there. Let's see. Then, I believe the rest of them are upstairs. They have two filing cabinets. Now you want to run up all the way up to the third floor. You have one filing cabinet right there. And I don't think there's any more filing cabinets in this one. So this building has three. The White Knight has three filing cabinets. And we're going to go back down. You can't access the second floor from here, but I don't think there's any filing cabinets on there anyway. At least I don't remember them being. So now we're going to go into Black Knight across the open area here. And I think this one has like four or five. Let's go ahead and look. I'm not sure where all of these ones are. So you can't open that second door. Let's see. Is there any in here? Is there none in here? Oh, yeah. Actually, there is. So there's one filing cabinet right there. Now we want to go upstairs. I believe there's some more we can find. That's the bathroom. We have another two filing cabinets right here, which is the first door on your right, if you're excluding this, like on this wall, first door on your right. There's two more filing cabinets. Now we walk into the next door. No more filing cabinets here. Are there any more behind there? Nope. And is this door open? You can't open that door. Okay, perfect. Now let's go up to the top floor. Let's see here. We have three more filing cabinets right here. Four store on the right along this wall. Do we have any more in here? We do. We have one more filing cabinet right there. So a bunch of filing cabinets in this building. If you're looking for those USBs and the filing cabinets, that's a good way to do it. So the next thing we have on our list, which is one of the first boss items we'll be looking for, is the Golden TT. Now the Golden TT spawns on Rishala, and Rishala is the scab boss on customs. Rishala can spawn in three places. He can spawn in the gas station, he can spawn in dorms, or he can spawn in the skeletal building. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and 
look for him, and then we'll catch back up as we fight him. Okay, okay. In this case, Rishala spawn in dorms. Now, an easy way, when you're fighting the scab boss, you want to take it low and slow. You want to use the peek trick where if you right side peek and slow lean, you basically get free kills. You can see here, right? This minion. Dead. A little out. Dead. Right? You want to abuse the slow lean. When you slow lean on boss minions... What the heck? When you slow lean on boss minions like that, they literally can't see you. You're invisible. Only on the right side. And that's done with Alt and D. Only on the right sides. If you try it left, because when you left peak, your body sticks out way more, they'll see you. So, we killed a few of them. We got one, two, three guards down. I think there could be a maximum of five. But I'll correct that if I'm wrong in a caption somewhere. And then, uh, including Rashala, I think we can have a maximum of five. So we're going to check the rooms here. Now you want to be very careful. You basically have to go room by room here. To look for Rashala. He could be anywhere at this point. Let's make sure every room. Check every corner. Literally check everything. Do not pass up on a corner. Sometimes they like to hide in the bathrooms. Believe it or not. Or the staircases. Now we had the gun on single fire. We would have... <laughs> Anyways. Check every... Every area. So, he was on the second floor. Rashal is probably on the downstairs. Probably down here. Gotta be very careful. Again, we want to peek out just for a second. Could be hiding anywhere in here. A little bit of lag there. Sorry, guys. Alright, that's one. Actually, is that another minion? No, I think it might be a regular scab. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep looking for where we're shot. Whoa! He was in there? Oh, he was in the bathroom. Yeah, they like to hide in the bathroom. I see there's Rashala right there. And Rashala's dead. So that's all of them. I don't think there will be any more. As I'm calling it out, yeah, they like to hide in these bathroom stalls for whatever reason. Maybe it's because they don't want you to, or they don't want the boss to like dome people while they're running up to dorms. But let's see, there he is actually. Now the golden TT isn't a 100% spawn, but luckily we got it here. So that is how you find the golden TT. So the next item we're going to be looking for is Sturman's stash key. And of course that is on Sturman. Now Sturman is the scab boss on woods and Sturman has two guards with them. So in total, you'll be looking for three boss minions or three boss scabs, Sturman and his two guards. And what they like to do and how their AI works is they like to pick you off from a long range. Now, Sturman spawns around the sawmill and he can spawn just behind it as well at a campsite, kind of where the cult of circle is. I'll make sure I make it clear on the map. But when you get close to Sturman, his AI seems to be programmed to just run away. So you have two ways of fighting Sturman, really. You can go and shoot him from afar. You can shoot him from afar where he you're out of his range you can pick him off pretty easily or you can rush in and get close to him and he'll try to run away from you for a moment and then you get basically have free shots on him so i have the mark 47 in full auto i'm gonna try the close-up approach just because the you know the longer range one can take a little longer and i'm behind dickhead rock here and i'm gonna loop around into the lumber mill so they're all running around. See this minion? Oh, there's another one. I think we got that one. There's Sturman. Okay, got Sturman down. Now, see, I don't mess around with that. I don't mess around with that. Full auto Sturman. There he is. There he is, by the door there. Okay. And we'll throw a nade. Honestly, I have the most trouble with this boss. M more than any other boss in the game. 
before we continue, just in case. There's one. <laughs> There's one we didn't kill before. Armor did wonders for me there. But anyway, we're Sturman down. Where was he? There he is. He's the one in the black hooded jacket. All you have to do is loot his pockets and you will find the Sturman key. And that's the quest item you'll be looking for. But man, is he difficult? At least uh, at least to me, I have, a, I have an issue with this boss. So the next item on our list is the infamous Mask of 12, Killa's Helmet. Killa is probably the hardest scab boss in the game as of right now. And there's a few reasons for that. He doesn't have a set spawn location. Killa can spawn on interchange all throughout underneath the mall, in the mall. The one place I haven't seen him is on the second floor, but I'm sure he can spawn there. I'm sure it's possible, but I know he can he can spawn anywhere in Ollie. He can spawn in the middle of the mall. He can spawn an idea. He can spawn anywhere in the underground parking lot areas. I've even seen him hiding underneath the escalators, the Goshan escalators, where you run up from underneath as you head up into Goshan. I I've been killed by Killa as he was sitting there crouched underneath the escalators. And not only does he just spawn everywhere, but at the same time, Killa will make almost no noise and he will sit crouched until he sees you and by that time if you haven't spotted him already or from afar you're probably gonna die he will beam you with ap ammo and it's it's insane so the only tips i can really give you for finding this guy right now especially with the interchange lighting and how dark everything is is you have to be very observant and you have to try to see him before he sees you i know it sounds obvious but that's just that's all you have to work with currently in 12.12. So I'm gonna run into the underground of Ollie here and look for him and I will catch up with you guys when I find him. I will also say right now, as I'm looking for him, his helmet, the front visor, I believe is a tier six armor class. It might be tier five. If I'm wrong about the tier six, I will, I will put whatever the correct information is on screen. But basically you can either shoot him with very good AP ammo and headshot him or the top of his helmet is only tier four armor so if you get a side shot with like a mosin or something whatever whatever gun you decide to use that could kill him as well mm -hmm. oh god so kill is right in front of me he's throwing grenades i'm gonna try he's throwing grenades like crazy Okay, I got lucky there, and Killa's AI didn't dome me. <laughs> but when Killa tip, Killa's AI will charge you when he gets aggroed on, and he will power slide and destroy your face. Luckily there, he was a little glitched out looking towards this way for a little bit. But as you can see, wow, I don't even have his armor discovered. As you can see, here's the Mask of 12. That is the helmet you'll be looking for. Let's just see, out of curiosity, what ammo he was using, because yeah, this is- <laughs> What the? Did I hear that, Scav? Was that audible? I don't even remember. I probably did. But let's, I'm just curious to see what ammo he was using. Yeah, so T45. So we also got a spawn where he spawned with terrible ammo. So we got extremely lucky there. But that's how you find the Mask 12. Now the last boss item we're going to be looking for is Tagilla's hat. Now Tagilla is the scab boss on Factory and he wears a class 5 helmet and I believe it's a class 5 armor as well. So ideally you want to be grabbing like, actually it might even be class 6. But ideally you want to be bringing in some high pen ammo or you can bring high flesh damage ammo like shotguns and buckshot and shoot him in the legs. So I'm gonna go look for him in factory. He can basically spawn anywhere to my knowledge and then I'll catch up with you guys then. Shotguns. He is here. Oh my god. He can also one shot your face with his hammer as well. So uh, don't be like me, be better. And watch out for that, if he is. He's here. There he is. So as you can see, not as bad if you're rocking some high damage ammo. Let's see here, Tequila is dead. 
<laughs> Let's see actually what his armor class is, just to clear. Okay, so it's a tier 6 vest. Here he has his helmet, and there's the hat you're looking for. Now, note, when Tagilla wears this helmet, he has armor even on the back of his head, but when you wear it, you don't. It's just something to give the boss to make him a little more, a little more special, but that's how you find Tagilla's hat. Now, the next item is the... Terror Group Labs card, find in Raid, right? Honestly, the best way to get this card is just spawning in as a scav. As your scav karma rises, the chances of you finding your Labs card increases. So as you can see here, this is my third attempt. This is my third scav run today, and there it is right there, a Labs access card. Now I have five or 5.6 scav karma right now. So the higher your scav karma, obviously the chances of you finding a good or spawning with good items increases as you have higher scav karma but say you have no scav karma low scav karma on your pmc when when you farm player scavs you can farm player scavs on factory or you know you see them throughout your raids make sure you always check their loot because they will always have or they have a chance a pretty good chance of having a find and raid labs card because honestly they are a lot more common than you think you will find them a lot additionally you can also get a labs card in the filing cabinets while you're looking for the usbs all right guys now for the last two items that being the cms kit and the defibrillator both of those items can be crafted in your hideout so in my opinion there isn't really much point in going out of your way to find these especially the defibrillator because a lot of the reliable defibrillator spawns are actually in labs and uh, there's a big cost of labs and it's a hard map to play so if you're just looking for two easy ways to get or one easy way to get these two items the cms and the defibrillator here's how you can get them the cms kit can be crafted with one med tools and one car med kit at level one therapist these two items are so easy to get and so cheap that it, there's no point in trying to look for these. Like this is 11k here and the car med kit 7k. Yeah, so extremely cheap. I would just craft these for the Jaeger quest. And the defibrillator, again, not that much either. The most expensive part is going to be this here, the power bank. But other than that, the, let's go back here, the capacitors, the wires are two extremely common items. And the magnets are not even that difficult to find either. You can find all of these items. Actually, all four of these items can be found in the same tech spawn areas on like Interchange or any of those maps that have like technical supply crates, you know, woods and stuff like that. So I would just craft these last two items. So there you have it, guys. Now you know how to find every find and raid quest item for Jaeger. I hope this video helped you. And if you have any other suggestions or questions for me, Feel free to leave those in the comments below, and hey, maybe it'll even turn into a video. I would love to answer and help you guys out, but I hope this video did just that, and I'll see you in the next one.